Hi, I'm Katie Topling, and this is one video in a series of top tips for church buildings looking at accessibility around the space for disabled people. And today we're talking about toilets. Why do I like this toilet? Well, first of all, it has a sliding door. We'll show you that in a minute. I can also turn my wheelchair around without crashing into furniture. Watch this. And a power chair user could also have the right footprint to turn around in here. For those of us who parallel park to get onto the toilet, look, there's no bins in the way. We can literally lock ourselves here and transfer sideways and back again from toilet to wheelchair. But if you do need any kind of extra assistance, and there is a pull-down bar here. What you also notice is that the pull-down bars and the handrails, stainless steel, are different colour and contrast to the wall. So you can see where they are if you're visually impaired. And also, the floor is grey, the walls are white. Again, that colour contrast, really important. There's two other things to notice in this space. One is the emergency pull cord. Now, this one's been hooked up onto the thing by the cleaner, so you can clean the floor but hasn't been put down again. So this emergency pull cord needs to be touching the floor because if you fall off the toilet, you need to be able to reach it. If it's this high up, no chance. If you have one of these, just check it's on the floor. And the flush, a lovely sensitive flush, but I can't reach it over here. And short of having a quick B-day moment on the loo for flush it at the same time, that's not as effective. So if you have a flush, make sure it's on this side, the receiving side, and not into the corner. One final thing to notice on the toilet side. Now, I know paper towels are controversial, but if you have any sensory issues or you're autistic, the noise of a hand dryer can be really overwhelming. So paper towels in a bin, not in the turning circle of the wheelchair, but just to one side and by the sink, spot on. One more thing to show you. Baby chain facilities. You often find them in the ladies' toilets, rarely in the men's toilets, and often in the disabled toilet, they are a big unit that gets in the way. This is great. It pulls down from the wall, doesn't clutter up the footprint of the room, and acknowledges that disabled people also have babies, which is really good. So this kind of system, spot on. I love a sliding door, because it means that it's not interfering with the footprint of the room inside, or the corridor outside, and it's got a smooth mechanism. No having to reach in a big arc across your body, or go behind you to push up behind. I love a sliding door on the disabled toilet. 